ladies and gentlemen, from the final resting place of the legendary archer Tadayori, whose grave we definitely didn't just get done robbing two minutes ago. My name is Allison Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you back to none other than Ghost of Tsushima, where what better way to bring us back into this world than being surrounded by all of these beautiful violet chrysanthemums, easily one of the most picturesque places in the entire game, despite having had probably one of the most bloodiest massacres held there in recent memory. Uh, last time on the game, we killed about 20 Mongols over there, and in doing so, we rescued the musician Yamato, who actually was the one who told us about Tadayori's armor in the first place. So very fortuitous of us to have come at that exact moment to save him but over here it looks like we have some singing crickets because this is a cemetery of sorts and there will certainly hold some in whichever ones you might find now we're very close to Osmo Bay and there are some plotting villagers over here that plan on overtaking it so you know what let's give them a helping hand damn straight村の中のものが危うくなる。猛虎は年寄りを痛めつけてるんです。ある捕虜が逃げた罰として。痛めつけて何になる。で、どこに捕らわれた一人は神社。後の二人は家の中に。いかにして入る。門は開かぬぞ
no spear guys here. Oh my. <laughs> Are you okay? Jesus. Uh, I don't know what was going on with that man. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, there is something in the drinking water here. Ugh. Thank you. Thank you. Ugh. There we go. Oof. Maybe I should switch back to my clan armor. That'd be nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing no damage against these guys. Okay. Well, thanks for all that. And luckily, the sounds of our intrepid battle does not quite reach the ears of other Mongols. They're just kind of blissfully unaware. <laughs> it's like they hear a bomb go off and they're like, eh, must have been the wind. Uh, okay. There's a crying villager over there. I have a feeling I can't quite make that shot with the half bow. But this guy, I could probably do something about. Let's see. Let's see. Quietly. Gentle. There we go. Yeah, so the peasant that we saved is not actually somebody that was required. So there we go. Run! One and run, my friends! Okay. Okay. Uh, and the first elder we need to save is actually next to the shrine right up here. But there is, if you're not too careful, this guy right there. There we go. Okay, so it's gonna keep bothering me, so let's just switch to the stance. Nothing quite changes just yet, but... Uh, yeah, nothing here. Okay. So we can climb up to this, and it'll take us right where we need to be. Why are you screaming? Is that necessary? Okay. Oh, no. Alright, let's try this. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Where's the third? Right up here. Alright, alright. Okay, and there was one more at the bottom of the hill. And we do need to kill everyone in the vicinity before we can set her free, so... Let's see. Is that your face? Looks like it. どうか。私が殺さない。何がしてやる。怪我。ありません。手当て uh, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll get to him soon. So, uh, that is the main house, and that's where we're gonna fight off against the Warlord. Which is where we will then be able to engage in an actual duel with someone who's very talented with the sword. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and mince words, but they're pretty challenging, and we are going to have a little bit of trouble early on, because we have basically no health or strength. So... Just gonna take a quick peek in here. There's nothing. And uh, we're just gonna keep on going all the way around. Now, one of the most hilarious parts about looting through this place is the fact that nobody is ever facing out. They're always in a corner, facing away from the entire room, and then you just see them hunched over and kind of wondering to yourself, what in the hell is this person doing? And how did they not hear the tussle? Of, of, of a violent battle happening directly above their heads. I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel like these houses do not insulate sound very well, so you basically hear everything, right? Well, you would think so. Uh, I want to see if I can actually get in from upstairs. Just kunai if we need it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I might be able to, or maybe not. How do I, how do I do this? Is it in... Oh, it's in this house. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go over here. here go. That's not good. Uh, there's a window here, so... Whoa, my bad. Uh, oh, I cannot see because my entire body was in the way. Okay. Uh, well... Luckily for us, I don't think anybody heard. The guy that is not facing anywhere near this heard not a sound. Not a peep. Oh my goodness. There are so many people here. 
Right, it's kind of unbelievable. Here, let's do that. <laughs> I'm silent as the night. Oh my god, there's a, another one. Jeez. All right, let's get this one. You see what I mean, though? They're all facing away from you. God, that was a good thing that I came in from, you know, <laughs> the bathroom window. There you go. Sorry, pal. That must have been really aggravating to have died like that. That flash of white light you see before you die. All of it fast forwarding through the best parts of your life. This is included and uh, is a little pathetic. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, so two of three were not looking too bad right now, so let's step back out and not cling immediately to the side of the overhang. Again, your sticky hands, you know. And if we keep kind of going along the perimeter here, We'll be in good spirits to finding the village people we actually need to save. And they'll be screaming at us to set them free. But they're actually in that bazaar that we saw earlier. I don't know if you guys remember when we had to cross that and we almost lost sight of the slave herder. But let's go over here and see where this ladder leads. Hopefully nowhere too terrible. There are sometimes roofs with hatches in them, but I, I guess there's none in this city. Jeez, or this town or village. And there's no one in here, except a couple of dudes looting, looting the place. Thank you for not just jump into that. Okay, so village people right over there. And that is where the last uh, elder is being held. I would like to go in here and raid it, but I don't think it's going to let me. Yeah, not without being too loud. Okay, well these guys basically do need to die, so here we go. Bye. Ooh. Again, just like major levels of resolve over here. Cool. So just the two of you. And then the one gentleman upstairs. Just hanging out. Sure thing. Here, give me that. Okay. So more supplies. Is there something over here? Nope. I can just see through the walls. There we go. All right, who is in here? Ah, there you go. You see what I mean, though? It's not even close to an exaggeration. They literally just show, have their backs to you constantly. Also, I forgot I do still have to show off the black powder bomb. I'll come soon. Okay. Well, that was not nearly as satisfying as I thought it would be, and that's okay. But I'm a little worried that we haven't seen any leaders recently, so. This building over here has the final, final dude. Oh my goodness. Uh, Jesus. Okay. Let's watch out. This guy, does he have a helmet? I can't really tell. Is someone going to run down? Does that guy have a helmet? Uh, do I want to go up there though? Ah, he's facing away. Let's just do this. Maybe we'll have a decent vantage point. They won't suspect a thing. There you go. Nice re-up on our arrows. That is a cool view, though. We can go out there, but uh, let's see. Yeah, there's that guy. That guy's by himself. I could probably just do this. There we go. Oof. Anytime you hear that drum sound, uh, it kind of signifies you got a, a headshot, so it's always satisfying when you hear that boom. Guys, guys, calm down. I got to rescue, rescue the man over here. Uh... This is risky, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> Any other? Anyone else? No, that's it. Very nice. いかにも。もうこの掟を受け入れねば村の者を皆殺し
Oh, that is certainly my intent, sir. Don't you worry. Yeah, yeah. We we all know. Ooh, there's records in here. Maybe I should be wearing my traveler's attire. There's also some more screaming. I don't know what they're thinking. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this way. Yep. <laughs> Bye. There's something that kind of bothers me about this game. I was trying to figure out a good way to bring it into the conversation. But you'll notice how many nameless people we interact with over the course of this game. There's probably been about three unique characters that we've ever spoken to that are, you know, peasants. And that guy was the head lord of this area. And all they, all they are given are just peasants. It's just peasants or even guardians. It's just like, it's bizarre. I don't even know how to feel about it. Actually, I know exactly how I feel about it. I'm like disappointed that there isn't more gravity towards these people's names. They're just, even the important ones, peasants and, uh, I don't know. It's a little disappointing that there's just so many people on the back burner. But I guess that you know if they give a character a name that they might actually be somewhat important. Okay, who is screaming? Is there... Oh, there's a warlord. I'll give them something to scream about. Here, you know what? Yeah, let's do this. Not today, sir. Not today. My water stance is known to destroy all, and uh, you are no exception. Alright, so we need 11 more leaders for Moon Stance, but don't worry. Like I mentioned, that is the final one, and it's kind of underwhelming in my in my opinion. Um, maybe in this playthrough we'll discover, hey, maybe it's actually much better than it's set out to be. But that remains to be seen. There's another one right there. What? Okay, I did not think they were going to be right next to each other. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can do this with as few peasant casualties as possible also I need to go back to where we climbed up that archer range because we need to open that open that gate but we could just run and do that right before we do anything else where? Jesus. I can't I don't know what's going on What's go what? Oh, jeez. Hello. Hi. There we go. Okay, lady, you need to run as fast as you can, please. Oof. But that is the third leader killed. We're almost done. It's all coming together. And this last guy. Okay, sword stance. There we go. Man, how embarrassing is it that you guys are all getting killed by a dude wearing <laughs> this armor? Oof. Okay. Very, very nice. Uh, let's go and grab that. All of this stuff. More kunai, thank you. I would like some bombs, but that's okay. Leather. Some leather pleather. Perfect for the environs. Okay. So this is kind of coming towards where we escaped the first time. With Taka in tow. Uh, you know what? Actually, we are missing one group of peasants. What in the world happened with that? Right? Or did we get them all? We opened all three of these gates. Did I miss one somewhere? I hope not. Well, as we fade to black, we open the gate to a most wonderful view. Yeah, we still need free villagers. Is there one in the main house? Or did I just go past it? Because I've been freeing basically everyone I've seen. Here we go. Speaking of, how do I get over there? That doesn't involve me getting drenched. Yeah, I guess here we go. Alright, you know what? Here you go. <laughs> Alright, and the last village gate is just right beyond here. Oof, man, this has been a run, hasn't it? Hasn't been too bad. I think we got hit maybe once or twice. Not too bad. Oh my god! Jesus! I did not realize there were still guys here. Hi. Thank you. Perfect. Excuse me, sir. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Okay, let's uh, switch to wind stance. And now that we can actually do this, uh, we don't even get a chance to play with it because we got a perfect carry. <laughs> okay. 
So we gotta make sure that we have as much resolve as possible because we are about to engage in another duel. And so, let's go ahead and switch on over to the clan armor because we have more health and we get to produce damage and uh, hope that it is good enough for all of us. Last village gate opened. And with that, it's time to find the Mongol leader. And he's right over here. Make it to the higher 